Today we're going to show you an easy way to avoid all the aggravation I hear from so many sellers about doing these types of things on eBay. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at how to do several different features on eBay. We're going to hop to my hub and I'm literally going to show you. We're going to discuss things such as combining. I hear all the time people talk to eBay. Customer service told them to cancel the order and all these other different things that I keep hearing people saying that they're doing to combine or refunds and all these sorts of things. So I want to clear up the water. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do a bunch of these things quickly, easily, without hassling customers, without having to cancel a single solitary thing at all. It's really Really simple, really easy. There's not much to any of those things, those features on eBay. Now we're here in my hub and I'm on my orders tab. Now this tab shows you everything that's sold. So even if it's not shipped, hasn't been paid for, been paid for, or already been paid for and shipped, it's all going to show up in here. And this is a mix of those sorts of items here. This top one here is waiting on payment. The second one down has not been shipped but it has been paid for and then the rest of them have already been shipped and paid for already now one of the biggest things i hear is let's say this button here was purchased by the same person who purchased this one up here now he's paid for this one right here this one's paid i've already shipped it technically now i could have just sent this person here an invoice for this 15 dollars button with no shipping costs on it it would be just that simple i would click invoice right here and I could just delete any charges that would show up for shipping now this works for me too because I do not set it up so anybody ever has to pay immediately no one has to pay the minute they purchase it so if this was $15 list price and they wanted to buy it they wouldn't have to pay immediately that way I can combine them. Now the biggest thing I hear all the time is why don't I use the cart? Most of the time when I have used the cart it has not worked correctly. The charges were not in sync or something and I still had to either refund or ship out and lose a few cents because it never seems to work right with the shipping weights or anything else like that. So I just don't even mess with it. Another problem with the cart I have is that a lot of people tell me that uh, they want a subtotal. They want me to total it. And all they have is the stuff in their cart. Now, I can't see what's in their cart. Until someone buys something, I cannot do anything for them at all with things in the cart. Now, I can set up things ahead of time so that I can automatically combine them if they so wish. It'll charge like 5, 10, 15 cents for each item after the very first one. Again, as I said, it doesn't seem to work half the time. And I don't want to deal with the hassle or losing shipment or having to deal with eBay over it. It's just not worth my time. This works perfectly fine. So let's say this person here, this U.S. prison uniform button that sold for $15, I want to ship it with this one here, this Dominican Republic Army button here that sold for $39.33. All I'd have to do is highlight over this. I can just highlight it over. I could right click click the copy and then I just come up here and I would come on down and click add tracking number that's all I would have to do and it would be marked as shipped you don't have to do anything else it doesn't have to be combined any other way whatsoever so let's take another example let's say they paid for both of the buttons both buttons are paid for that's just as easy to fix so this one up here again both buttons you see on screen will say that they have shipping charges on here as well that's simple easy to take care of so with this same situation if they paid for them both again all I got to do is add tracking on to the second one as long as it's done within 24 hours I've never had an issue where it wouldn't accept the tracking number going to the same direction Direction, as long as they have not been scanned so I also want to refund them the difference I can't do it on here because they haven't paid so if the listing was paid you're gonna have a bunch more options and you can slide down here to where it says send refund once you get to the send refund option here it's going to ask you why you are sending a refund I always use shipping discount and then I cut and paste a real quick comment on here telling them thanks for the purchases. We have combined them for shipping and we are refunding the differences. Now when I refund the differences on here, I do not refund them the fees that I am charged. 
So if they paid separately, there's going to be a processing fee that would not be refunded, 30 cents or whatever the case may be, depending on, of course, what the deal is with the specific listing in question here. So I'm not going to refund them that 30 cents or if there's any type of fee. I will only refund them the exact difference minus their fees. So if there's a final value fee I happen to pay on shipping or whatever the case may be, I don't refund them that amount. I only refund them the specific amount minus those fees. Fees. I've never had somebody complain or have any issues with me doing the refunds like that. Again, I am refunding them the full amount that I am not charged. So I am not trying to make a profit off of this. I'm just recouping my costs. I'm still saving them an immense amount above and beyond the amount of shipping. Now, one other thing I would say, if you are refunding it and it's a multi-purchase item or something like that, and you want to refund it from one specific item and not the entire purchase, let's say they bought five buttons, they all show up right here put the discount on for the entire amount if it's an overall discount but if it's for one specific item let's say one button you want to give them five bucks off make sure to put the refund on that specific button it will help you out later if there's any type of chargebacks or any discrepancies or they complain or anything else because the refund will be tied to the very specific item that you are giving it to them for don't use an order level refund to refund partial amounts on one specific item now I do do the order level refund most of the time for shipping discounts. That is a good thing to use for that option there. Now, as I said in the beginning, I've had many people tell me that they've contacted eBay on what to do. They're new. They're not sure on how to do those sorts of things. And I've had people tell me that they were told to cancel just to combine these two items. That is a totally unneeded, unnecessary step to take. It is something that will put a burden on your buyers. I never, ever try to cancel anything regardless because sometimes they may not want to repurchase it. It may be a hassle. It may frustrate them. So anything you can do to avoid that would be what I would recommend. There's also no need to do anything else other than to just add the tracking number, send them an invoice with no fees attached to it. Zero shipping costs if they've already paid for another one. Now, another example, let's say the same person bought the button and the postcard. I would just click up here and send invoice, and it'll combine those two items instantly onto an invoice, and I can adjust the shipping costs to compensate. I could cut it in half or whatever you want to do. Whatever the shipping cost is, you want to put in there you are free to do so you can give them a discount or whatever the case may be now one thing I personally don't do and don't recommend doing is I do not pass along the discount I get through eBay to ship my items we charge the same price that they would pay if they went to the post office to ship something end of story we keep the rest of it to help compensate us for the final value fees on shipping the processing fee the 30 cents and such forth out of that that helps compensate us for those items it also helps us compensate compensate for the box purchases or bagging or anything else like that. It covers all those costs. At the end of the day, it really doesn't cost us pretty much a dime doing it this way for shipping any of the items we do. It covers pretty much all of our expenses in shipping doing it that way. So if you want to do it that way, that's great. That's a big plus for it. It will help you out a little bit there with some of your costs. Why pass on the discount when you don't need to? The discount is for us. It's not necessarily for your buyer. The discount is to help you. It gives you the boost, gives you the discount on the shipping to begin with eBay doesn't announce who does or who doesn't get the discount. So no one would have a clue on whether you have a discount or don't have a discount. Many people do not ship through eBay. They may actually ship at the post office and not get the discount at all. Now you can go to Pirate Ship or PayPal or most of these other sites as well will give you a similar size of discount also. So it just depends on your business. Now there's only a few reasons why I would cancel a listing. First one, the buyer asked me to cancel it. He sent me an email through eBay saying, please cancel this listing. Fine. As long as they ask me right away within the first 24 hours, I do it without a problem whatsoever. Now, if it's over that 24 hours, I may wait and open up a case, unpaid item, or I just may block them and then cancel it still. It just depends on what it is and what the reason is and such forth like that. 
Other than, say, a address issue or something like that, I don't cancel it unless the buyer physically says it in an email for me to cancel it. If you cancel it without their permission, they can leave bad feedback for you every single time. If, again, though, it's their address issue or they ask you to cancel it, you are free and clear to be able to cancel that without them coming back after you for it. So I don't try to cancel something, even just to combine, like I've heard many people talk about before. Don't cancel. Don't cancel unless you have to for those two specific reasons. Far too many people are unaware, completely unaware, that if you cancel, people will leave you bad feedback, especially if you state that, hey, I canceled it because the buyer asked, even if they didn't ask for it. There's many reasons you could get dinged, so cover yourself. Don't do any of those stupid moves. Don't do any of those stupid actions. Don't assume anything. Don't cancel unless you actually have to do it. Now, I know people cancel sometimes because they can't find the item. It's broken or something like that. I still, again, don't try to do that. I offer the buyer some other item, a replacement, uh, anything else I can think of, a discount, and then ask them, would you like me to cancel it? I'll be happy to give you, say, free shipping on any other item or anything else like that. As long as they say, yeah, go ahead and cancel it, I'll take you up on your offer. You're free and clear as well in those cases. You know, keep track of your inventory, though. Do a good, diligent job of making sure nothing gets broken in inventory as well, and you won't have those issues either. So these are some simple, easy ways to do something that a lot of people seem to have some problems with. You'll learn as you go, so just because you don't know or aren't aware of some of these things, it's no big deal. Everybody starts off at the bottom, just like us, and we've learned all through these years on what's the easiest, most simplest way to do any of these steps across the board. I just thought I would shoot this out there. Right after I finished the video, the person who bought that uniform button, the very top one from the U.S. Penitentiary Service, wanted a second one. So that's exactly what I did. I sent him an invoice after he sent me the offer, and I went ahead and combined both of his buttons for one single purchase, as you can see here. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. and the second house look like again? Why trust it to memory when you can trust it to Polaroid Instant Pictures?